Hi, my name is Leila. I'm an artist currently based in Brighton, but working in between Brighton and London. My work is very varied. Um, I'm predominantly a painter. My paintings are figurative and abstract. A lot of crocodiles, a lot of lobsters, a lot of crocodiles wearing human clothes and doing human things, which I really like because I think they feel relatable. I've been painting crocodiles for a very long time. A book I had as a child, which was about a mama crocodile teaching her baby how to eat spaghetti nicely. And it was my favorite book, I loved it. So that's probably where the love of crocodiles started. They've been around such a long time, basically dinosaurs. I think inspiration is so varied. I think when you're out there in the world, being exposed to things all the time, you're always taking inspirations. The things that inspire me the most and have inspired a lot of collections are family stories. So I've done a big collection about stories that my granddad's told me and told me to paint, you better paint this, <laughs> um, about the little island he's from, which is called St. Helena, it's off the west coast of Africa. A lot of secondhand treasure. I'm a big, I wouldn't say hoarder, but <laughs> I have a lot of secondhand antiques and you know car boot finds that have definitely worked their way into my paintings. I think the natural world, the sea, I find that really inspiring. I think similar to some of my work before, they are kind of combinations of unlikely pairs. So you have like a crocodile and a wine bottle or a lobster in a pot. So this one's nearly finished. It needs a few more finishing touches. But this painting, um, like lots of them, are inspired by things. So this crab um, is kind of what has inspired this chap here. And yeah, the bowl of such tumors, I mean, we always have them. And I just thought they looked quite nice. So I decided to paint them, basically. Yeah, colour is super important to my work. My work's always been very colourful. I just choose colours for a painting that I like, <laughs> basically. So that's why I think sometimes my house or my clothes can reflect my art sometimes, because I'm just painting the colours that naturally I'm drawn to. The pairings of colours I usually do in my head. And so if I'm out and about and I've seen a wall or a bench or whatever, Brighton's great for that. I kind of pair it in my head and then I can see where it's gonna go in a painting. I would love to say that I test and I plan, but I just don't, I never have. And I think, I'm sure like if I did do it, I'd think, wow, what an easier life. I can picture what it's gonna look like in my head. And once I've done that, I just do it. I guess it depends how it's going. <laughs> When it's done, I know it's done, but like often I'll get halfway through a painting and I'll think, oh, this is a load of crap, or this is rubbish, or whatever, and then I'll hide it away and give it a bit of a hard time. And then, you know, a few months later, I might come back to it and change a couple of things, then suddenly it's one of my favorites. I think, oh, I was so horrible to that painting. <laughs> so unfair. Um, but yeah, I definitely park paintings for some time and then revisit it and give it a new lease of life with a fresh mindset. I think the sea helps everything. <laughs> it's so grounding and calming. That sounds a bit cliche, but it's also really good at clearing your head. So I think for me personally, when I work, I need to paint when I'm feeling like happy, inspired, like safe and comfortable. It's just wonderful being near it. 